Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Stephanie. Today I'm going to be walking you through our primary bedroom and bathroom and closet renovations. So we didn't take before clips from how the house was when we first bought it. So I just displayed um, before pictures that we had. So that was the bedroom and bathroom and now um, I'm just showing you guys some before clips of during the renovation once we um, tore up the carpet and put up sheetrock and got rid of that paneling and that sort of stuff. So kind of halfway through like we did all the demolition and stuff and now um, we are focusing on rebuilding. There was actually paneling throughout the entire house when we first bought it. So we had replaced all with sheetrock and the bathroom of the primary bedroom was the last thing uh, to get sheetrock. The house also had tile on the ceiling throughout the entire house and we went ahead and replaced all of that as well. So you can see here that we got rid of all the toilet and the sink and they only had a little walk-in shower um, so we did demo on all of that and um, tried to level the flooring as well with some self-leveling concrete this last clip here is kind of the next stage of the bathroom where the plumbers actually came in and installed the tub because that had to be done uh, before we put flooring and tile up. Okay, here is day one of construction in the master bedroom and bathroom. We have sheetrock almost in the entire bathroom and we have sheetrock on the ceiling as well they just have around the shower left to do exciting stuff okay progress for day two they put, what is this called? No idea. <laughs> okay, progress for day two. They splattered some stuff on the wall. <laughs> I don't know. Finished off the sheetrock stuff. Okay. We have a completed room. Okay, this is day five. We can't go to the bathroom because there's, what is this? Self, no, some type of leveler or something. But there's the progress. We have tile. Here's an update on the bathroom. We're almost done the tile around the shower, which is super exciting. They did the trim as well. This is just kind of like decoration. Yeah, and the tile's almost done. And then once they're done that, they're gonna start on the floor. It looks so good. I think I explained this a little later in the video, but right now I am priming the ceiling and the walls of the primary bathroom. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint um, the ceiling and the walls. Um, we wanted to do that before our contractor came in to put in the, we got like tile that looks like wood. So before they put in the flooring, uh, just in case like the paint dripped, especially from the ceiling. Um, we just thought it would be easier. 
if we did that first. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. All right, here's an update. They leveled out this area right here to get ready for our flooring. Um, I have all my paint stuff out because I was just painting the ceiling of the bathroom, but here it is. I primed and painted the walls and the ceiling, and then I just now finished painting the ceiling. And then here's all the finished tile. They still have to put grout. Um, but other than that, they are done with the bathroom. I mean, they're done with the shower. All right, and then up close, you can see they put in like the little bull nose here. Makes it looks really makes it look really nice. <laughs> Can't talk today. But yeah, here it is. And then they've also kind of filled in and leveled out this floor here to get it ready for um for the flooring as well. So now it's a little hard to tell, but I'm actually adding like the colored paint to the walls. We have like an off-white color that is kind of more tan throughout the entire house. So that's just the color we chose to do in the primary room and bathroom and closet as well. But this project actually took a really long time to do. We started this project or we demoed all of this uh, when we first bought the house. I think it was at the end of July of 2021 or around that time. And now it's um, June, the beginning of June, and we are just now finishing up this project. Uh, several things held us up, like all of the prices going up because of COVID and then um, how we couldn't find people to work and then Hurricane Ida hit and then everyone needed um, contractors to finish off their houses and to fix their houses. So then we couldn't find people to work because of that as well. So we've hit lots of hurdles uh, along the way, but almost a year later, we are happy to finally start bringing this project to a close. My husband and I are actually still living out of boxes. We're living in one of the spare bedrooms because this is a three bed, two bath house. Um, and we like shoved all of our clothes in like this closet that doesn't fit and still living out of boxes a year later. Okay, so here is the next update. They started laying down the floor. I'm so excited. And then if we come over here, they grouted the shower and it looks 
gorgeous. I love how it turned out. Look how beautiful. It's perfect. And then this morning I just finished painting the walls. So the walls and the ceiling are primed and then and also painted. So it's perfect. I don't know if you can really tell though because it's like an off-white color. It's just the same color as we have for the rest of the house. Maybe you can tell the contrast seats a little more tan. But yeah, super excited. Okay guys, here is the update. Don't mind my barking dogs. All of the flooring is done. Look at that. And all of the tiling in the bathroom is done. It came out so beautiful. We absolutely love it. And the tub is in. The floor is done. The walls and the ceiling are painted. We're so excited. So the next step is to put in the light and put in the sink and obviously like a mirror and the toilet will go here. So we need to get we need to get the plumbers um, back in here to do that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and caulk uh, the baseboards. This whole room so now we just need to paint the baseboards and the window frames so I'm gonna go ahead and tape the rest of that for us and we also need to paint the closet doors and the bedroom door as well our dogs want to come into this room so bad uh, we trust Sienna coming into this room but we don't really trust the puppy She's eight months old right now, but she is still putting things in her mouth and eating things she's not supposed to. And since there's lots of paint and tools and nails and screws and that sort of thing um, in this bedroom, we just have a berry up because it would be easier just not to let the dogs in until it's finished. Okay, I'm popping in to show you guys an update. We have painted all of the baseboards and window frames in here. And we're working on the door frames for the closet, the bathroom, and the bedroom door. And this morning, the plumbers have also come and installed the toilet and sink and got the shower working here 
We have a working shower, which is so exciting. This is what it looks like. And then we have a working toilet. And the sink is installed. All we have to do is um, put the faucet in because we accidentally bought the wrong size faucet. But everything's coming together so well. It looks so good in here. We're super excited. We have this barrier so our dogs won't come in here since we have like tape and tools on the floor and Marina um, just puts everything in her mouth. But look at her. She's so upset that she can't come in here. <laughs> look at that face. reno video um, this is just the first part we got basically all of the renovations done next um, we are going to clean up the bathroom and add those finishing touches like the toilet paper holder and um, kind of move our stuff in there and then we have to clean the master and uh, move in all of our stuff and then we're building our closet so we have several videos this is just the first of a whole series but thank you guys so much for watching so this is what our primary bed and bath looks like with all of the major renovations finished we still have several steps to do before we actually move in but this is pretty great progress and we're so happy how it looks so far um stay tuned for uh other videos because i still need to clean all of these spaces and we have to build the closet and all that stuff and then we actually have to move into this room so but thanks so much for watching and stay tuned